What's up, Better Days? Today, we're on the West Fork Stones River at Nice Mill Dam with Sunday View Fishing. <laughs> we're gonna kayak this. This is 170 CFS. If I can remember, hey, editorial Richard, put the CFS link in the description of this video so people can see. We know we're not gonna face any extreme turbulent rapids or anything, because the lake level's down and the water level's down. So we're gonna kayak from here to, where are we going? West Fork Boat Ramp. West Fork, that's right, West Fork Boat Ramp. That's like five, six miles? Five miles of, I mean, it's super safe to do this time of year, as long as you don't have these spring rains. So get the water down like this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna try to catch definitely some trout, probably some bass, maybe even a crappie or a white bass or two. got some rapids here nothing too dangerous though just a little bit of white water on the edges it's like a rock right in the center here look pretty good looks like this at first but then the end of this trip is all dead water what's up guys we're going to his truck down there Yep. Cool guys, smart guys. He's like, what are you doing? How are you gonna get back up? <laughs> I get it. It's kind of funny going down these rapids in a kayak and unless you know where you're going. All right, let's get off the side of this current here. I think I can pull a trout out right here in front of us on this rooster tail. This is a good spot from the bank usually. I cannot believe this. We are in the most just balling stretch of river for trout. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, man, this is crazy. They should be everywhere. They are. I just wasn't hooking them. Come on, buddy. Stay with me. Oh. Let's see here. First, he touched the boat. Oh, look how photogenic this trout is. Oh, my goodness. It's beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. No, don't do that. I want to show you to the... No, 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 no. No, not on the seat. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Look at the spots on this thing. Holy guacamole. First... All right, we gotta navigate these rapids, Rich. Come on. Pay attention. Okay, it's good. So, oh, there's a rock right in the center. Oh, that would really ruin your day right there. There's another one. Oh man. Okay, another perfect stretch. Back paddle a little, get a cast in here. Don't have to cast far, we're right up in them right now. Got him. Second. Okay, 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 okay. All right, get him off the hook and let's get another cast in here. We're in the, we're in the sauce right here. Back paddle a little bit left to get us straightened out. I see a hole over here. It's got to be loaded. Come on. Come on. You want us to go in front of you? Thanks. We'll, we'll just run right through. We'll be out of here. Y'all have any luck? Two. Two trout. <laughs> see, I never say picky. I say finicky. I think that's the right word. I don't think they're picky. They'll eat millions of things. You just got to figure out which one it is. Go left. Yeah. There's a little deep channel that kind of cuts around. I, it's kind of hard to see. Man, this thing goes straight down. It's crazy. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.
And he's bottomed out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> This is nerve-wracking. This is really hairy. Yeah, this is a tough trip. You gotta be pretty good. Test all your skill right here. I can hear the one up ahead. Sounds crazy. Whew. Oh yeah, those are some big waves. Oh man. Steady, steady, big waves. Wow. Some of that was hairy. And there's... There's some two foot waves in there. You Richard? Yeah. Oh, hey man, I met you a couple of times. I'm Adam. What's up, buddy? It's been a while. How are you doing? Good, man. We've been trying. Yeah. Trying not to flip. Okay. <laughs> What's going on out here? Video where you did that. Yeah, there's been two on this river. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never on this stretch though, always upstream from here. Yep. Yeah, this isn't usually very bad. If you're standing here and looking at that behind us, it doesn't look bad, but I'm telling you, there's some standing waves in that that are a foot and a half tall. I told you I was going to switch up to that trout magnet. Got me a little bluegill. Species number two, fish number three. All right. The little fish are biting good. Maybe the big fish will play today. Bobbers? Yeah. I mean... I'll put this in my net and keep it alive. You know what I'm saying? Got a little bait fish, you guys. I'm gonna hang on to him. See if we can't catch a bass with him. I know that big old bass will eat that. This is like the last main hurdle of rapids you can see the river just goes right into all those trees and it's really tough to pick your way through over on this right side pretty much your only option it, it does get swift in here and there are it's a little bumpy we're gonna try to make it look easy though you got sweepers on the right you got strainers far right down here Left! Woohoo! He yelled something about going left. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's some nice waves here. Oh yeah. Whoa, boy. Whew. Oh, man. That's some serious drop off. Trying to make it look easy. Stay up. Oh, we almost lost it.
We almost dumped it there. Another bad spot here. Oh, man. We made it through. Shoo wee. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, that's a. Oh, my God. I watched the little fish just eat this. He got it. 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 I watched him eat it, bro. Bluegill. He's a little too big to keep for bait. We're going to keep us a few bait fish for the end where there's a lot of nice bass. Perfect bait fish, dude. You think it's a little big? We could catch a catfish. What kind of line do you got? I've got line strong enough to catch a catfish. You know, go down to the corner and soak a couple of these. We don't even have to keep them live that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna hang on to these. We're gonna go down here and catch a catch a big old fish just for fun. Oh my goodness! I just saw the most incredible trout take. Oh, we got him. That was so sweet. I just gave it a twitch. Watch that lure just get swallowed. That was crazy. Man, he crushed it. One twitch and gone. Uh, yeah, I do. But I'm throwing a trout magnet right now. No, I'm trying to get through this safely. There's a rock in there. We'll stop here and fish. Just for a second. See if there's anything in this swift current. That's too swift. Yeah. Okay. He picked a great line. We struggled. I think we're good now though. Whew, that's crazy. There we go. Oh, I cannot believe I lost that fish. Man, they're biting right here where I am. I just cannot stick them. I have every cast. They're eating it. Got him. I just couldn't stick them. Nice. Another species of fish. Long ear sunfish, which is, we've got a lot of bites from these little guys. We just weren't able to hook them. There we go. Beautiful. Tennessee's most beautiful fish. Trout. Nice one. Oh, nice one. Nice trout. Boy, he clobbered it. Oh, there we go. Boy, that's a handful right there. There we go. Give me that, back, that trout magnet. It's in its mouth. Let it go. It won't. It ate it. Oh my gosh, it ate it. It went down his mouth. Gosh. 
There's a little fish. What do we got here? Nice, another bluegill. All right, guys, this is so much fun. This is a tough trip. You should be experienced. Really good kayaker with the water level the way it is. We thought it would just be a nice little drift. It's not. It's a lot of work. Some tough, tough rafting. Oh, dude, it's epic. Guys, there's this big, nice, oh, that is a beautiful spring. It's, that's a lot of water pouring out here. I bet you it's ice cold, it is ice cold. Look at this natural spring. Holy guacamole, that's cool. Somebody took the time to put a bunch of rocks around it. Neat. That is so cool. Just so when the lake is up, it's underwater. It's just pouring out here. Cold water. GoPro stop recording. Ah, uh, you know we gotta get some casts in at the spring. spring I'll be back uh, there's one I knew there was one down in here oh another species a fifth species it's either a spotted I think it's a spotted or a largemouth it is a spotted bass it's our fifth species of fish. And we're catching most of them on this. We caught a couple on the rooster tail. But he was in the current. You guys watching? Yeah, you're watching. See you later, dude. Unbelievable trout fishing paradise. Come down here and stop at all these rapids along the way instead of just coasting right through and just sit and fish the rapids. You'll just slaughter trout guarantee it you got to be really good though this is dangerous stretch of river other people are going to disagree with me this i wouldn't bring a client out here unless i knew their skill level and a few times i was a little nervous oh just got washed out by a trout what does that mean? I'm throwing a rooster tail. The spinning of the t blade pulls on the tip of the rod and you can feel it like weight. And it has a particular feel to it. And what happens is as it's running through the water and you're feeling nothing, all of a sudden, whoosh, the blade stops. A trout came up behind it and the gust of water cause the blade to stop spinning momentarily and you can feel it. It's like it washes the lure out and it quits acting the way it's supposed to. Neat. Oh, I see fish in there. I see fish. I see fish. What are those? Bass. Dude. I just seen a whole school of bass. Oh, and there's like three or four little ones chasing my lure. Oh, oh, I see smallmouth in front of me. Smallmouth, smallmouth. There's a ton of bass over here. Like I just scared a whole bunch out when I came in here. Got one, I got one. That looks like a bluegill. Dude, there's a ton of little fish in this pocket. There's a bunch of bass in there like a bunch there's like this drop off right here on the edge of the mud and they were all sitting on this drop off dude you gotta come see it it's full of bass oh i got another one. Oh, he's off 
I will put the pertinent information, the lake level, which this is 483 feet above sea level, which that's, you know, winter pool 483, summer pool is 490, so we're seven feet below where this sits in the summertime. That's good information to have if you're gonna come do this trip. You gotta be good. You gotta be a kayaker. You gotta know how to pick the lines. And even then, it's still gonna be a little hairy. This is uh, West Fork Stones River. Nice mill dam to West Fork boat ramp. I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.